guys welcome to the channel today I got the part for the relay for the PCM this is the part number for the PCM relay this is the new one I got this at Advance Auto and this is the old part that doesn't work this thing is dead there's no clicking in it nothing I tested with a multimeter and a battery I put the battery on the pins and she should click she's not clicking so the PCM code is this thing it's not the PCM. I'll show you the code I'm getting for the PCM. So I'm getting that P1. I'm getting P1607 PCM shutdown timer. So it's not the PCM. It's the relay that's causing this. And this code right here is a transmission code for the uh, solenoid. I got to change it. I know about the tire pressure sensor. I know about the gas cap. But that I'll fix that at another time. Right now, I'm focusing on the P1607. It's a relay issue on this car. It's a 2010 Dodge Journey SE. So I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna put the new relay in, and I'll show you what I get after that. I re-diagnosis the car with the blue driver, and that code does not come up no more. So let's open this up. Okay, we open it up. And now I'm gonna put this back. So this thing goes, so this way, this thing goes towards this way. So it goes right in, as you can see, look. See, I'm gonna put it in. And all I do is press down and that's it, and it's done. Done. Now that's it. So it wasn't a PCM, it was a relay. The fuse is right here for the PCM, it's eight. 20A for this car. I'll show you the, where it is. That's the, where the um. That's where the PCM is. PCM relay 20A for the fuse. And hold on. And right here is the PCM relay. The K5 is the relay. So if you ever need to change it, if you ever get that code. First try the relay and try the uh, fuse and if the uh, relay doesn't click and there's no power come from it, you're supposed to get 150 100, from 150 and up for this relay. If you don't get it, then it's something going on with the relay. But in my case, it was the relay. I'm happy. I'm very happy that was the relay. It cost me like 14 bucks for the relay at Advance Auto. <clears throat> I changed the fuse too just to be safe. So there's a new fuse in here too from AutoZone. That was like $7. So this is the part number for the original one. And this is the part number for the uh, the one you got to buy at the auto parts store. For this, this is a Dodge Journey 2010 SE. 2.4 liter. As you can see, that's the that's it right there. And then I'll show you the codes I'm getting now. One second. So this is what I get now. This is all what I'm getting right now. So all those other codes had to do with that relay. So now I got to change the solenoid on the um, the P0928. That's a transmission code that's coming up. The shifter is not shifting. So I'm going to start tearing... Uh, messing with the transmission, take the filter out, take the pan off, drain the transmission, and get a new solenoid for the uh, shifter. And this thing, I have the seats disconnected. That's why this says saying this. I use the blue driver all the time. It's really good. I like it a lot. So hopefully, when I put the solenoid in, this car will shift again. If not, it's a transmission issue. But... Most likely it's a solenoid, hopefully, and I'll be doing that in another video, and I'll show you where the transmission pan is. So, so I have her on jack stands already. She's on jack stands already, as you can see. She's on a jack too. I got six ton jack stands, two of them already on with, with boards. I got the wheels chocked in the back. So the transmission pan is right here. This is the transmission pan right here. As you see, 
this is the transmission pan. That's the bolts I got to take out. You got to take all these bolts around, going around, out. I'm going to drop it and then let the transmission fluid drain out. I'm going to change the head gasket. I'm going to change the gasket on here too. And I'm going to change the filter on this transmission and the solenoid in here. So hopefully when the solenoid gets changed, she's going to shift again. But that will be another video. But if you like the video, please comment, subscribe. Also, I'm on current, current gen games with Nick. I play on Twitch and YouTube. Right now I'm playing Sets Creed on there. You guys will like it. But thanks for watching. You have a great day and have a, enjoy the rest of your weekend.